moved our 1936 bungalow about 17 miles nine years ago. It had been empty for a couple of years and some scavengers had come and gone, but before that it had been owned by a single family. A couple of generations had called it home before it became our home. One of the details that was missing from, that you would expect in a craftsman home was a breakfast nook. And so, this year, we remedied that. So for Christmas this year, my dad helped me to build and install our new old style breakfast nook. When I say help, he basically built the whole thing in his workshop, moved it up here, and then we put it together. I had already Pinterested and clipped the fool out of this for years, so I knew exactly what I wanted. Our little Depression era kitchen needed a lot more storage, so I wanted the shelves above, something like that. How do we do? Under the benches I needed room for all those small appliances that they didn't have back in 1936. And honestly, we still don't really need them, but the Easy Bake Oven takes up a lot of space. And then I couldn't resist the old pig bowl in a drawer. Out of the same old shed we repurposed into a treehouse, my dad crafted this oak tabletop. This wood's right at about a century old. Naturally, we needed beadboard, and the white paint doesn't seem that practical, but at the time this house was built, people were starting to think about sterility, and white was easier to keep clean. If you had a spot, you knew it. So people thought of white spaces as sanitary spaces, and plus it just looks right. Well, that's our new old style breakfast nook. If you've been following me on Pinterest, you probably saw this coming a mile away. Lately, I've been pinning a lot of the same sort of thing for a big project coming up this spring. You ought to go see, see if you can guess. There are a lot more home and farm projects coming up. If you subscribe right there, you'll see them as they come. Life's what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty.